Good morning, friends. I am Prashant Mahajan. So today we are going to see the remaining uh, methods of application for protective coating. So yesterday we have seen us. Uh, we have seen hot dipping. So that is galvanizing and tearing. So what is metal cladding? So metal cladding is the process in which a thin sheet of coating metal is firmly bonded to the base metal on one side or both sides with application of heat and pressure. So you you uh, you have seen that like uh, lamination machine. So base metal is kept in the center and cladding metal is kept above and below the base metal, and it is passed to the roller uh, with the application of pressure and heat. So coating metals are lead, copper, nickel, silver, chromium, aluminium, and base metal is duralumin, mild steel, and brass. So for example, uh, application is alkyd sheets. are made by sandwiching duralumin between two aluminum layers of 99.5% which is used for aircraft industry that is the first example second example is copper clad steel it is used in the electrical industry due to its good conductivity means we are going to keep steel in the center and above and below there will be copper in that way the conductivity of the steel can be increased next cementation or diffusion coating means what we are going to diffuse the coating metal into the base metal so principle in this technique there is a formation of strong layer of alloy of the coating metal and base metal on the surface of the base metal the cementation is done by heating base metal in the revolving drum containing a powder of the coating metal so there is a drum there will be the powder there will be a rotation for certain period of time the temperature is there so for example you can see chromizing is done by heating the base metal with mixture of chromium powder and alumina it is heated at 1300 to 1400 degree celsius for 3 to 4 hours in rolling drum so the drum is continuously rolling and in that way the coating metal is diffused in the base metal so you can see the three layers that is first below layer is a base metal second layer is richer in base metal but poor in the coating metal and above layer is poor in base metal and richer in the coating metal then where we can use that that is method is applied for the protection of furnace part walls and condenser in oil refineries and in general wear oxidation and resistance to sulfur attack so chromizing we have already seen then sharadizing so it is the process of cementation using zinc powder as coating metal the temperature is 350 to 370 degree celsius for 2 to 3 hours again we are going to use the revolving drum for this time of period and that temperature but we are going to use zinc metal with the base metal and colorizing is the example of coating sorry diffusion of aluminum in the base metal so what is we are going to use so mixture of aluminum powder with alumina together with little amount of ammonium chloride and the temperature is 840 to 950 degrees sorry 930 degrees celsius for 4 to 6 hours so that is cementation and last is electroplating so electroplating means we are going to coat coating metal on the base metal with the application of electric field or electrolysis so coating metal is kept on the anode and protective metal our base metal is kept on the cathode remember the if the anode is of copper then electrolyte should be of copper salt so you can see in the diagram positive charge terminal is connected to anode negative terminal is connected to cathode and electrolyte is made up of copper sulfate anode plate is taken copper so copper is going to oxidize in the solution as cu2 plus so this is copper plate kept at anode it is going to oxidize and copper 2 plus is going to the solution and two electrons are coming through the circuit to the cathode 
that two electrons will combine with the copper 2 plus present in the solution and that copper form is deposited at the cathode. That means there is a transfer of copper from anode to cathode. That is called as electroplating. So remember that if copper is the anode, there will be the electrolyte of copper like copper sulfate, copper chloride. If you are using nickel as the anode, then you have to use nickel chloride as the electrolyte. The salt solution will be the anode material salt. So where we are going to apply this electroplating? First for corrosion control, then making surface conductive for getting decorative surfaces. For example, gold silver coating on steel producing surface against corrosion. For example, chromium plating on steel non-metallic can be electroplated for decoration and conduction. That means we are going to put gold on the silver that will be done. Corrosion that will be for prevention of corrosion. Then for conduction that means we are going to use copper on the steel. That means conductivity of the steel is going to increase by this method and we are going to make decorative surfaces by using gold or silver coating on the steel. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you.